So I'm going to go over kind of an advanced uh, patch editor um, concept, and that is the function and composition patches. What do they do? Um, took me a while to figure out and asking a bunch of people in the community, and um, they were gracious enough to explain it to me. Um, so I'm just going to grab a composition. Actually, so check out the documentation for function. Uh, it doesn't say anything. Not helpful. Um, composition, kind of similarly, like what exactly is this going to do for me? It composes two functions, a texture and a transform. Um, not super helpful, not very intuitive. Um, so I'm going to show you guys uh, how and why you would use this. Um, so uh, usually you would use uh, texture coordinates and a texture sampler to um, get a color um, that you can then um, do whatever operation you want on. Um, just for time's sake, I'm going to use multiply and you can see uh, that effect up there. Um, now, say you want to do something more complicated than just that. Um, so maybe you need to resample the pixels again later down in the chain, or you want to apply a texture transform. Um, that actually won't work. So I'm going to pipe this in as the texture. Um, that won't do anything, so I'm going to add a transform, 2D transform pack. I'll just set the scale to 2 and like 5. Uh, and that should do something, but it doesn't. Um, so you can see in this window, absolutely nothing changed um, when I tried to use the texture transform. Um, so that's a problem, uh, especially if you get more into, you know, layering effects and stuff like that. Um, so what you want to do with function and composition, you basically just replace the texture sampler um, with the composition node and replace uh, the texture coordinates with the function. Um, I'm going to set that to vector2 because I know it needs to be a vector2. So I don't, I don't know how this actually works. Um, I don't know. It somehow knows that the function needs to be a range of values as opposed to um, just a, a number. Um, so we'll pipe that into the multiply. Maybe this is too extreme. Yeah, so now you can see up here that the texture transform is actually doing something. So what is actually going on here? Um, you can see if you check out the texture sampler, um, the output is a color. It's not actually outputting a texture. So when you try to use it in the places where a texture would normally go, um, so like texture transform or the input to the texture sampler, uh, it doesn't know what to do. Um, I apologize about the video lagging. That's a little weird. Maybe I'll restart it. That's a new feature in Spark. <laughs> um, so, so what the composition does is it, it jams these two things together, the texture and then essentially a UV. Um, and it, it maintains the texture-ness of it. <laughs> for lack of a, a better word. Um, so after you do this, it is still a texture. The output is a texture and not a color. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, it really confused me for a long time. I didn't know why my stuff wasn't working when I would chain it together, um, but this is why. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, if you like the video, hit subscribe and I will see you on the next one.